hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we're going to be working on the rihanna inspired uh, crochet dress this is a dress that she posted a while back on her instagram page and i have always wanted to make a tutorial for it so when i received an order this was the perfect opportunity to record this so um this dress is going to be worked with this yarn it's called winter king it's a four ply yarn and it's a hundred percent acrylic and i'm going to be using a four millimeter crochet hook so this dress is an open back i'll be attaching photos as i talk so that you can see uh, exactly how your dress will come out uh, at the end of your project uh, this is me trying it out with a jacket and a fedora and trying the different ways to style it and yeah let's jump into the video so uh, the other materials that you'll need are a pair of scissors and a darning needle to weave in your ends and then a measuring tape and then uh, for the yarn you'll need about five balls of this yarn four to five balls depending on the size that you're making and the length that you're making so that can differ but i used about four to five balls which is about um 250 yards 250 to 300 yards so if you can get that then uh, you're good to go so let's begin you're going to start off with a slip knot and you're going to make a chain of 32 one two three four five six eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so i have my 32 chains and now i'm going to go into the fourth chain from the hook so not this one not this one not this one but the fourth so you go into it with a double crochet and continue to double crochet all the way across so this is our row one you'll end up with a total of 30 double crochets if you count the first chain three as one of the double crochets you're going to have a total of 30 double crochets so i'm done with my very first row and i've ended with a double crochet into the very last chain and now we're going to start making increase rows so you're going to chain two and that chain two counts as a double crochet and then turn your work and place one more double crochet into that first stitch so so far we have two double crochets the chain two and the double crochet that we've just placed and then continue to double crochet once into each and every stitch until you reach the second last stitch so in my second last stitch i'm going to place only one double crochet and then into my last stitch i'm going to place a total of two double crochets so on top of that chain three you're going to place two double crochets like that and then we're going to row three and it's also going to be an increase row chain two and this counts as a double crochet turn your work place uh, one double crochet into the very first stitch so we count these as two double crochets and then continue to place one double crochet into um, all the following stitches until the second last stitch so i'm going to place one double crochet into my second last stitch and into the last stitch which is the chain two i'm going to go into it with two double crochets 
and we are going to repeat this row until we get to our um, waistline so you're going to repeat this row three creating your increase rows until you get to your waistline all right so i continued to do my increase rows until i reached my waistline and for that i i just continued working until i reached my navel that's where my waistline is and by waistline i mean the upper waistline not the lower one so i did a total of 22 rows and that hit my waistline so um from here we are going to make a chain that goes around our waistline comfortably so my waistline is about 25 to 26 but uh, for my client that was about 27 so that's what i'm going to do um right now i have a total of uh 21 inches 21 inches across so i want a total of 27 inches so that means i'm going to make a chain of about six inches to make it to 27 inches because 21 plus 6 is 27 so i'm going to pick up my yarn from where i left off with the 22nd row and i'm going to make a chain five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so let me see what that measures twenty measures about five inches and 25 you can see i'm not over stretching my work because i want it to be comfortably fitted and that brings me to my six inches you can see that and once i get there i'm going to turn my work and i'm going to make a slip stitch into the very first double crochet and remember our very first double crochet is the chain two i'm going to go into that chain two and make a slip stitch and now we are going to start working in rounds but what I want to do I don't want my seam line to be on the side of my dress so I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to cut my work cut my yarn and then I'm going to find the middle stitch of the 25 so that should be the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The 13th stitch, the middle stitch of the 25 chains that I added in the middle section. So I want my seam line to be in the exact middle of the back side of my dress. So I'm going to chain 2, which will count as my very first double crochet. And then I'm going to go into each and every chain after that with one double crochet. And then after making it across the chain now we are going on to the body of the dress and we are going to go into each and every stitch with one double crochet so 
So go all the way around until you get to this point. When you get here, you're going to continue to work one double crochet into each and every chain. And I'll meet you at this point. So I've made it all the way around. I've made a double crochet all the way around until the very last stitch where I've placed a double crochet there. And then I'll go into the chain two on top of the chain two with a slip stitch. So that marks the end of round one of the skirt because now we are working in rounds. Or uh, if you want to continue to use the term rows, then this is my 23rd row. So I'll be using rounds because this is round one now because the other ones were rows. So you're going to chain two, which counts as your very first uh, double crochet. And then you're going to turn your work. And then we are going to start doing increased rows, but every other row, every other round, increase rounds. So uh, round two, you're going to chain two, turn your work, and then you're going to go into that very stitch with a double crochet. So that means we've made an increase into the very first stitch, and then continue to make one double crochet into each and every stitch all the way around until you get to the second last stitch. So let me continue to place my double crochets until my second last stitch of the round. So around here and then I'll show you what to do at this point. So I've made it to my second last stitch and for the last stitch which is this one I'll be placing two double crochets one and two and then I'm going to go into the first chain two that I made with a slip stitch so that was my increase row and now uh, round three you're going to chain two and turn your work and this one is not going to be an increase round you're going to make just one double crochet into each and every stitch we are not going to be increasing. So um, we are going to keep alternating between those two rows, the increase row and then the non-increase row until we get to our hip measurement. So keep alternating between the increase round and the non-increase round until this measures your hip measurement. So since it's folded in two half and uh, you may want to consider, let me say, if your hip measurement is 40, then you're going to consider 20 inches from here because it's this side and the bottom side. So I'm going to keep working until I get to 20 inches. All right, so after making a few rounds of uh, the odd and even round, um, you'll notice that your dress is flaring outwards, not so much, but it will start to slant towards the sides like this. This is to create a uh, coverage for our hip measurement. And uh, I did a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve rounds. And this got me to my 20 inches that I wanted. You can see from zero up to 20. I just give it a little push, a little stretch so that it can go to 20 because I want my dress to be a body hugging one. I don't want it to be very loose on the bottom side. And once you get to that hip measurement that you want, we're going to stop increasing. Now we're just going to do plain rounds of double crochet. So this is where I had stopped with my slip stitch. You're going to chain two turn your work and go into the next stitch with a double crochet and double crochet all the way around and you're going to repeat this until you get the length of the dress that you want I'm going to continue working and I'll let you know how many rounds that I did for my dress okay so I've done a total of 19 rows of no increases just plain double crochets 
and then I have a total of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Twenty nine rows right from um, the very first round of the skirt. Twenty nine rounds all the way down. So that's the length that I want for my dress. And I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn. And the uh, the lengthening of the dress is finished. This is how it looks like at the back. This is the seam line. You can see that. And then at the front we have this we have nothing like a seam line at the front the seam line is only in the middle section of the back and now you're going to go back to the top of your dress I had put these chinks to uh, try it on my dummy to see how it was fitting so I'm going to take them out and then we can work on the straps of the dress So for the straps, um, you're going to attach them at this point and this point. We are going to just have two straps, but they're going to be a bit long. So you're going to start with a slip knot. And then you're going to chain a long chain of about 200 to 250. So one, two, three, four, five. Let me get off camera. I'll let you know how many chains that I did for mine. So I decided to do a total of 150 chains because 200 was going to be so long. And I'm going to attach it to the very first space between the two double crochets of the first row. And I'm going to make a slip stitch. And then I'm going to single crochet into each and every space in between the stitches so one single crochet every after stitch so that I cross over to the other side So we are almost coming to the end of the row and I'm placing my very last single crochet in between the last two stitches and after this we're going to make a chain of 150 just like we did on this side so So after your 150 chains on the opposite side, you're going to cut your yarn. So you'll have two straps. So you're going to turn your work to the back side and this is how it looks like. Uh, you can go ahead and make a row of edging all the way around here. Um, but that's optional. So you're going to grab this strap on this side. And you're going to bring it to this side we're going to form an X at the back and now I'm going to go into this space here at the base of uh, this very first row of the halter top so at the base and then I bring through this strap like that and then I'm going to do the same on this side at the base of the halter top here at that point and bring through the, the other strap so we are going to have an X at the back and now uh, we are going to be putting the strap into two, two, two stitches so in and out of two stitches so these are my two there are two stitches here and then two stitches here 
so I'm going to pull through you can see it's on top here and then it's below two stitches and then you continue to do that two stitches up two stitches down until you get to the middle section of your dress and do the same on this side And now we have, I have at least four stitches left in between and that's fine. You can eliminate those ones. So we are going to have an X at the back, but this is to emphasize the waistline. That's why we put it at this point where I told you you're working your halter top until you hit your waistline. So when you pull this like this, if you're wearing it, it's going to strain this place here so that it holds your waistline very well so right now the fact that i'm not wearing it it's pulling on the top but you'll see what i mean by that when i try it on my dummy and here you will just tie these two strings in a knot you can go ahead and attach tassels at the end of the st string so that they don't come out of these points if you're to sell it to a client because they sometimes get a hard time putting them back so you may consider putting maybe beads or tassels then uh, the other thing left is to weave in all your ends i'm going to go ahead and Weaving all my ends using my darning needle and yeah, that's basically it. This is how our dress has come out and I really love how simple it is. And I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.